Hi, Chad Gillis with Everglades Survival. And today I'm taking a look at a pocket knife that I acquired recently. It's a Swiss Army Huntsman. I paid about $34 for it. And it has several features that I really like. I'll, I'll start with the knives. And I probably won't use these. I probably will leave them sharp and just alone, leave them alone and be my backup in case of a super emergency situation. Here's the smaller blade. It's just fine. Probably will never use it. And then here is the saw. This is the piece that I was really looking forward to because it'll make nice notches and help me make tent pegs and other implements out when I'm in the woods. So help take down saplings. I've got a silky gomboy out back that I like a lot, but this will do smaller work and lighter for like crafts and things of that nature. Um, another feature that I'm looking forward to using is the scissors uh, for, for cutting fabric. Um, they work really, really well. I like those a lot. I think uh, this is a useful feature, the can opener. Sometimes I like to just take a, a couple of cans of soup or something with me, throw it in the bag and go. Uh, it's got a small screwdriver on there as well. This is a larger flathead screwdriver, a bottle opener, and a wire stripper. Um, then you've got your corkscrew. I've never used one. This thing I don't know if that's to weave nets or to maybe hang a suspension and put a pot on that to, to boil water. I'm not quite sure what that's for. And then you have your awl. You can use this for punching in the leather. Uh, you can, there's a hole there to put, to put uh, cordage in or line in. Uh, you can use this to drill with and to start holes on say a, a fireboard for making, uh, making fire. So uh, there you have it, real simple. Um, great little knife, very proven, not super capable as a big knife in the woods, uh, more of a small chores around the house kind of knife, but I do like having the saw and I'll use it in the woods to make implements and tools and things of that nature. So, um, again, Chad Gillis, uh, please hit subscribe and like, and I hope you like the episode and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.